It's the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia, with your host, Bob Snap. Hi guys, welcome to the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia. Thank you for being here. I found something really cool today. The most mysterious shop in Mayberry. This is really weird, and I didn't know about this. I swear I didn't catch this. I just found it. So here we go. Fans of the Andy Griffith Show can finally recall the names of many shops and businesses in Mayberry. There's Floyd's Barber Shop, where all the boys get their hair cut. Walker's Drug Store, where Andy and met Ellie. There's the Fix-It Shop, where you can find Handyman Emmett Clark. Uber or Gomer Powell can take care of your car at Wally's Service Station. There are many other obscure businesses whose names can only be gleaned any time an episode takes you walking down Mayberry streets like Lucan's store that carries the bed jacket for which Aunt Dee pines. The thriving small town business community, but about all the shops that we never got to go inside, there is perhaps one storefront the Andy Griffith Show fans have been puzzling over for decades. A glimpse during the first season episode, The Inspector, a shop across from the jail, has a name that read like nonsense. E-R-H-A-J-W-Z-K-B, the sign says. You can catch it about 13 minutes into the episode as State Inspector Ralph Case storms out of Andy and Barney, out of the courthouse. Case was found many violations inspecting Mayberry's jailhouse and leaves in a frazzled hurry to report the infractions. Uh, when the door opens, you can spot the curious shop name, and if you do, you'll wonder what on earth could this odd string of letters refer to. One fan of the Andy Griffith Show, Paul Mulek, who, who was named as a trivia expert in the Andy Griffith Show book, is credited as finding the answer. He said that it is an early episode. It aired 26th overall. The production did not yet have the Mayberry backdrops established. What we're seeing in the scene is an old backdrop borrowed to cut costs when the filming the Inspector episode. He said he recalled the full name on the shop sign was the Peter H-A-J-W-Z-K building. I'll put that up there for you. Uh, and that backdrop must have been created for some long forgotten old movie he wrote. Uh, perhaps some had speculated that the old movie might just be the 1959 Samuel Fuller or World War II film Verboten, uh, which uh, was filmed on the familiar RKO 40 acre back lot that became Desilu Studios. Uh, AKA the Mayberry set. But alas, we looked through the uh, uh, looked through that movie and could not find a sign reading that. Nor could they be spotted it in Attack, a great gritty 1956 war flick with Eddie Albert, Buddy Ebsen, and Jack Palance, uh, which also filmed on the lot. To be honest, uh, the sign does not seem like the typical name you'd find in Belgium or Bavaria. Uh, it could just as well have been from other productions at RKO 40 Acres Desi Lou Lot, such as The Man with a Camera, the 1958 noir series starring Charles Bronson. So a mystery somewhat solved. Does anyone have a lead to finally answering the 60-year-old question? 60-year-old question to some of you guys. One-day question for old Bob, because I missed it. I didn't see it. I really didn't. Uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll put the the name up there for you just so you can uh, get your little kick out of it because I did. I thought it was funny. Uh, that's all I have for you guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Please don't forget about Classic TV Facts and Trivia. It's on Gunsmoke today and the reason that Mar Ma 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 I've been up since five. Sorry, guys. That Marshall, Matt, Dylan, and, and Miss Kitty never kissed. And Classic Rock and Country Music Facts and Trivia. It's on Waylon Jennings' uh, special bond with Buddy Holly and his motorcycle. That's all I got for you guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe and please don't forget to like this video. You guys have a great day. God bless and I'm praying for you.